Hi everyone, my name is Kevin and today I want to show you how you can get Microsoft OneNote entirely for free. It won't cost you anything. All right, well let's go ahead and get started. Um, so I have a browser window open here. What we're going to do is we're going to go to the website office.com. Uh, so I'm going to type it up into my address bar here and office.com is the entry point to all of Microsoft's Office web products. Um, so here I am on office.com. Uh, the one thing you're going to want to do is you see a sign in button in the middle of the page. You can click on that. Um, there's also an option to click on sign in in the top right hand corner of the page. So you have two options, pick which one you want to click on. Uh, I'm going to click on the one in the top right hand corner. The next thing you'll notice is you get the sign in prompt. And if you already have a Microsoft account, you can go ahead and sign in with that. If you don't have a Microsoft account, remember I mentioned this is entirely for free. What you could do is you could create one and it won't cost you anything. You could set up an account uh, and you could use this to access any of Microsoft's services, whether it's Xbox, Office, Windows, anything. Uh, if you already have a Windows account, you probably already have a Microsoft account. So I'm going to go ahead and let me type in my Microsoft account. So I'm going to type in my username. Uh, now I'm going to type in my password and I'm going to go ahead and let's say keep me signed in. That way when I come back, I'll just automatically be signed in. Uh, and do I want to stay signed in? Well, it'll make it easier in the future if I say yes. So I'll go ahead and say yes. Uh, so I'm going to click on there. And now what's going to happen is I'm going to land on office.com. Like I said, this is the starting place for all of Microsoft's web properties. Uh, across the top of the page, you'll see all the different apps that I get for free uh, as part of uh, Office Online here. Uh, and what we're interested in is OneNote. So I can click there to jump into OneNote. One thing you'll also notice is down here on the page, I have all the other recent documents I've worked on uh, and I have a OneNote notebook. So that's a quick way if I wanted to get back to a OneNote notebook, I could just click on it right there. Um, but so I'll just click on OneNote here and that'll bring me to the main OneNote starting page. So here it's gonna load up. And uh, so here you'll see the start page for OneNote. Um, so I have this one existing notebook that I've created. I also have the option to create a new OneNote um, if I wanted to create a new notebook. Uh, and then I also have this option to manage and delete. What that'll do is that'll simply bring me to OneDrive where I can delete, I can move, um, and I can rename my different OneNote notebooks. Uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on my notebook. This is an existing notebook that I have and here this will drop me in. Uh, and this is, this is the, web, the OneNote web interface. Uh, here I'm in this notebook. I can see all my different sections. I can see all my different pages. Um, here I could go ahead and start adding content. Uh, so test content, uh, test. Um, up here on the top bar I have the option, you know, all the standard things that you'd expect as part of OneNote. I could choose styles. Um, I could copy paste. I could choose fonts. Um, I could also insert a table, I could insert shapes, I could draw. Um, so all the things that you're used to want, uh, using in OneNote, you could access right here on the web. Um, this is available anywhere as long as you have a, a computer and you can get to office.com, you could also access your OneNotes and they'll be available anywhere. Um, so it doesn't save it on your machine, it'll save it up in the cloud. Um, and that's, that's really all the tutorial is, just quick step-by-step uh, -step on how to get OneNote for free. Uh, if you enjoyed this video and you found it helpful, please give this video a thumbs up. And if you want to see future content like this, any other tips and tricks, uh, feel free to hit that subscribe button. That way you'll get a notification anytime future content like this comes out. All right, well, thanks a lot and thanks for tuning in.